Hey Josh, it's Tuesday, and first off to answer your question from last week, I'm not really sure how I would react. Um, I know that's kind of the cheap answer, but <laughs> I'm, I've been thinking about it a bit, and I'm just like, I really am not sure how I would react. I guess it depends on how exactly it changed, if, I, if it was similar to... Uh, what was his name? Joe Stone? Uh, if it was similar to his... I... <laughs> Even thinking about it now, I... It's hard to imagine that, so... Cheap answer, I know, but it's... It's hard to really think about. Um... But, yeah. Uh, not really a lot to talk about this week. Um... I mean, obviously, I'm making my video a day late, uh, because I had that emergency meeting yesterday, and by the time I got home, Mom and Dad were already in bed, and I I get very loud in these videos sometimes, so I didn't exactly want to uh, wake them up. Um, but yeah, um, for... Tr I guess I'll give the update on training. Um... This weekend, I'm planning on adding a few more pounds to my pack. Um, I've been carrying what I assume has been about 20 to 25, uh, but on, um, that would have been Saturday. Uh, Mom, Dad, and I went out to Cuyahoga Valley, and we actually ended up making our way to uh, Camp Butler uh, through a connection trail to, um, to the Cuyahoga Valley. It was actually the OA trail, um, so, which was kind of cool, uh, because it was, it was kind of cool to, uh, see some of the landmarks at, uh, at Butler again, even though I didn't recognize any of it. Uh, we were only in Camp Butler, and I really didn't know Camp Butler as well as I knew Manitoc. Um, most of the times that I hiked at Scout Camp, it was the smaller trails, so like the White Trail, Blue Trail, and Green Trail were the three that I hiked the most there. Uh, we were mostly on, I believe, the yellow, orange, and red trail, which are the more difficult ones. I actually, uh, I ended up downloading an image of, uh, the map. You probably can't see that that well, but, um, <laughs> it was kind of cool to look around at it and be like, yep, pretty sure we're right here, uh, because we took a break at, um what I think was the canoeing lake, uh, because there were some canoes that were just sitting on the side there, most of them full of water, so, um, they've not, you can tell that they've not been used in, uh, coming up on two years almost now, I think, uh, because I doubt that they had summer camp last year with, uh, the pandemic, and not sure if they'll be doing it this year. I would hope that they wouldn't, just due to how everything is still happening. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, it was it was just really kind of cool to uh, to go there, and uh, could definitely tell that those trails were not as well maintained. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I didn't see any Karens either, so I'm not sure if they take those down prior uh, and put them back up. Uh, prior to summer camp, not sure. Uh, it could also just be that on the trails that we were at, it wasn't really any anything big in the area, so they didn't really need to put the Cairns there. But yeah, I kept an eye out. But yeah, I'm probably or next time uh, Theo and I go out, um, I'll probably take him down that route as well because he's. He's thought about um, hiking the hiking around uh, Manitoc because he's also a boy. He was also a Boy Scout, and um, but yeah, uh, it was it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, 
lost my train of thought there for a second. Um, geez, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the, the OA trail, I can definitely tell why most people do not go on it. Um, but yeah, I also had... I guess technically two casualties in equipment. Um, one of them I was able to fix, and the other one is also able to be fixed, but it'll take a little more. Um, I, at, when we got there, I found out that uh, one of my one of the two trekking poles that I had been using, uh, the locking mechanism didn't work doesn't work anymore. But uh, I have some or mom. I think I think it was mom picked up some tape that uh, that I can use to hopefully try and hold it there when I'm using them to walk and then the other so I was only using one that whole time and it really wasn't that bad again I wasn't carrying that much on my back so that probably also helped um, but yeah the other thing that happened was that uh, <laughs> I had slipped and uh, it was very muddy, and my trekking pole had kind of gotten caught, or had gotten stuck into the dirt and mud. And uh, it, when I slid, it actually bent a bit. Uh, luckily, uh, there was a tree in the area that had some exposed roots that I was able to use to bend the uh, the pole back to pretty pretty straight. Um, but yeah, so. Definitely, definitely going to start putting some more weight in my pack. Uh, I'm also, I also uh, might take some time to actually um, sort of pack it well, rather than just using um, some textbooks and Dungeons and Dragons books. That's what I've been using. Uh, but yeah, I might take a couple things and actually pack them into the pack. Uh, just because that's probably, because the textbooks are pretty much just dead weight in there, like, they're not really, they just sink down, um, so I might try and pack a couple of things in to sort of try and, uh, I guess, um, spread out that weight a bit, but yeah. So, I guess that'll do for this video. So, Josh, my question for you is... Do you want to uh, check out Cuyahoga Valley when you're, when you're here? Um, you said that you're here from June 4th to 6th. So, do you want to check out Cuyahoga Valley during that? Uh, so, that'll do it for this video. So, Josh, I will see you on Friday. Later, bro. Oop.